Julian Fleming back to receive the kickoff, and he's got to handle it inside the four. Emeka Abuka, their talented freshman normal kick returner, is not available for this game. Wilson, who came in motion, and a quick fall start for the Buckeyes. So Lobby going in motion and then back. They throw at the far side. Alave trying to escape, and he'll be brought down after a short game. Nice play on the far side by Darius Snow, the nickelback. On second and nine, Stroud has good protection, delivers a low throw. Alave's got it at the 25, just enough for a first down. Marquis Lowry, Chester Kimbrough, the two starting corners for Michigan State. Henderson in the slot. Strad looks to his right immediately, and that's Garrett Wilson going down low. Catch made at the 32 in front of Kimbrough. Henderson testing the left side, and he's got first down yardage across the 35. Brought down by Kimbrough. Five fresh bodies for the Spartans on defense, and they chase Stroud, who tries to get it to Wilson. Couldn't hold on as he needed to keep his balance on the sideline. Good pressure by Petrovsky there. Yeah, pretty good coverage downfield. Nothing really for, for Stroud to do there. You know, he is, he is an ability to process and see things. And I think this is the job that he's doing better of now is I think he's throwing up, throwing the ball away. Instead of holding on and trying to make a play, he's willing to give up on a play and then try to live for that next play and try to pick up that first down and second or third down. Man, is he hard to sack? 11 sacks and 357 pass attempts a tremendous percentage for this protection. Henderson, look out. A nice open field tackle saved a really big gain. Lowry got him to the ground, but it's another first down. Blitz coming, and Stroud evades it. Wilson found some space in the middle of that zone. They're taking those easy access yards, about a 10-yard gain. Second and short, you wonder if they take a shot in that situation. They just... Dump it down to Wilson, who's got first down yardage at the 41. Xavier Henderson tackled him. Pop pass. Jackson Smith and Jigma, the blazing sophomore. Very dangerous play for Ohio State all season long. Spartans do a pretty good job defensively. That's a solid first down game. Stroud off play action. Long throw. Catch made by Wilson, evades two men, and then ducks down at the 25. Another first down. Mayan Williams spelling Henderson the last couple of plays. They throw it to him in the flat. And nice play, flying up to make the tackle there was Angelo Gross, the safety, prevented a big game. A lot on these safeties. Gross 15 on one side, Xavier Henderson on the other, the veteran of this defense. Right now, they're being asked to make tackles in space, and both are showing you that they are equipped to do so. But that's a tough ask for 60 minutes. Stroud from the pocket across the middle. High throw. Oh, Lobby's got it. Career touchdown number 34. Ten passes, two runs in that drive. Eight of nine completions went to those big three wide receivers. Reed. Peyton Thorne there, the sophomore out of Chicago, won the job late in camp, suddenly improved this year. He's seeing a blitz right now. There's a little bit of a lean right here. He's recognizing that as a threat. They feed Walker. And the Buckeyes' quick penetration off the edge by Haskell Garrett messed up the play, and it's a loss. Walker lost a yard on second and 11. Thorne threads it in there to Tyler Hunt. They'll use the tight ends a lot, and that's a first down gain to the 35. Big challenge for this offensive line. Matt Allen, youngest to the Allen brothers who have been a part of Spartan football forever. Play action, and first down ball batted down at the line. Getting a big hand up there with Zach Harrison. Linebackers, Chambers, and Simon playing well. Early pressure, he felt it, and Thorne had to fire the ball on the ground. That was Tyreek Smith, another talented guy up front for Ohio State. It's hard to bait the defense when Haskell Garrett feels it. Right over in this area, watch how he just kind of feels 
the screen. Watch him right here recognize, oh, they're going to try to go here. No way. You're not going to throw this screen. In fact, a lot of Ohio State's defense keyed in, anticipating screen there on second and long. Harold Joyner is in the backfield on this third and ten. Thorne against pressure, delivers across the middle into traffic. It's broken up. Trying to find Trey Mosley, Marcus Williamson in coverage. What a series, Kirk. Low punt into the wind. Smith and Jigba on a bounce and be tackled right there. Smith and Jigba's there. Olave and Wilson have some work to do to get to 1,000. Henderson picks his way and is stacked up in the middle there after a short game. Maverick Hansen on the tackle there. Simeon Barrow, the normal starting tackle, out today. So Panashuk and Beasley, those six year seniors, got to step up and fill in. in. Second and seven, Stroud to Henderson will be tackled short of the marker. Buckeyes didn't face a third down on the first drive. Need two on this third down. No, no, not at all. They, they were in really good rhythm and in attack mode. And, you know, they, they will crank their, their tempo up in these first few possessions. They are going pretty fast. Two by two look Henderson in the middle. He's knocked down but a first down gain. Hal Halliday came around the corner there. Stroud looking to throw one first down first downfield shot. It's Wilson running free and will catch him a lightning strike Buckeyes two possessions two touchdowns 77 yards. Field. Too much speed in that coverage scene. Run out of the 16 yard line. And if Walker has one carry, lost a yard his first one. They fake it to him and smothering the quarterback is Tyreek Smith. Spartans behind the six on second down again. Crowd roaring. Thorne has time, delivers high, incomplete, was over the head of Jaden Reed. Thorne has plenty of time, delivers, and the catch is made. Clutch catch by Tyler Honey, ran a good route, and it's a first down. A clutch poised by Peyton Thorne to sit in there the way this defensive line is played and eventually have the patience to work and find his tight end comes between off of one linebacker off the other. Meanwhile Thorne's back there. He's hitch 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 hitch. He waited and trusted that protection and it delivered for him. Hunt knew exactly where the first down marker was ran 14 yards and they got just enough. Second carry for Walker. Trademark stiff arm gets him some space. That is a weapon. It's early, but it's urgent for the Spartans. They got to respond. The defense is going to have a long day. That's Connor Hayward, son of Ironhead, the converted running back, playing tight end now. Spartans using some tempo. And there's a downfield shot looping throw over the head of Reed. Jay Johnson calls the plays for Mel Tucker. Joyner is the back on third and long. Thorne loops a long throw and the catch is made. First down yardage by Reed. Nice throw. He beat Brooke that time. Walker stacked up two really clutch throws on third and long by Thorne in this drive. Yeah. It's Joyner. Walker makes a nice cut. Kenneth Walker shows you why he's been the most productive running back in the country. That was a terrific run. Fake it to him. Thorne again looking downfield. Long throw. 50 50 ball. And that time, well played by Cam Brown. Thorne across the middle, batted in the air and incomplete. Once again, another one of those third and longs. It's Joyner in the game at tailback. 
Can Thorne come up with something again? He's got protection, delivers a throw, and once again, a route right near the marker. That's Reed who came back. Ohio State says they ripped the football out, but it's... Well, they, they were fighting yes. for that ball, and as he was trying to reach, the ball did come out. You wonder if he was down. That was the reaction from the crowd, but how about the throw now in third down? Really good coverage, tight coverage, maybe a little handsy. As he extends, that ball comes out. Burke was all over him. He reaches out. And looks like the ball's out. Before his shoulder. Before, before the shoulder touched. Crowd sees the replay and is booing and see if they'll stop and take a look. Tom Kissinger is the replay official in this Big Ten crew. He was on top of Burke and I think the ball came out and then the shoulder hit after and then it's recovered immediately by by Bryson Shaw. After further review it is an incomplete pass. As a result it will be fourth and ten at the twenty nine yard line. And the Ohio native will slide it wide right. Smith and Jigba. Quick gain around the left side. Stroud on the run. Flips it short. Smith and Jigba reach back behind him. Makes the catch. First down at midfield. I like what Olavi and Wilson told you. We're pretty good. In fact, we're really good. We're first rounders. But yeah. this guy, number 11, different world. He's from a different place. And that is high praise for your peers when those guys are both as good as they are. Buckeyes change the look pre snap. Stroud goes up under center. Wilson's in motion. A fake it to him. Steps up, delivers downfield. It's Olave. Touchdown number two for number two. Good Lord. They strike quickly. Haymakers. I mean, Mel Tucker told us it's more of a street fight than a game. Let's go, Ross. They got hit by a lead pipe over the head a couple times early on. Throw a pass incomplete, tried to find Reed. Simmons makes a cut and bangs forward. Make it third and manageable. There's Ohio, Burke, the freshman from Ohio, Arizona. Ohio State feels that Denzel Burke, the true freshman, 6'1, about 190 pounds. They feel that he's the next. They've had so many great corners. Best in nation, the secondary. They feel he's the next great one. Thorn on third and four delivers. And again, a catch just beyond the marker. That's Hayward. Simmons gets the toss, loses the ball. It's on the ground and scramble for it. And I think the Buckeyes say they've got it again, and they do. Henderson in motion, they pop it to him, fake the reverse, and turns the corner. Knocked out hard after about a four yard game. Smith and Jigba. Gets a couple blocks, makes a cut, and is knocked down at the 25. Henderson lowers the shoulder, hammers down to the 15 yard line, delivering the blow to the defender, Henderson. I'm telling that time. You, man, he, he makes headlines because of the big explosive 50 yard touchdown. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage for the playbook on home loans. Rocket can. Stroud moves around to the pocket, thinks about scrambling, doesn't do this too often, and kind of slides down at the eight yard line. That gets a cheer from the crowd. They yeah. want to see more quarterback runs here, which is kind of silly when you throw it that yeah. way. Well, he's 16 to 17. Let the fans and Twitter have fun with he needs to run more. It's like a keep... Bronx cheer for them right there. I know, I know. Hey, seven, just keep doing what you're doing. It's working out just fine. You want to scramble occasionally on a third down and get a first down, great. They got a first and goal. Henderson, it is his job to run the ball. Lowers the shoulder again against Kimbrough. 
Touchdown. <laughs> Julian Fleming's healthy. And the fourth receiver on this talented squad joins the party here. Well, what are you doing? You're down four scores and your defense is struggling. You try to get Walker going, picks up a couple yards in the middle. Need four just to try to get this drive going. Thorne delivers and it's almost intercepted. And jumping the route there was Cam Brown. And the punt drives it nicely. Low kick into the wind. Fielded back there. And Smith and Jigba. Mayan Williams, who could start for a lot of teams, the battering ram. And a Cincinnati brought down by Crouch, who's out there playing hurt at a linebacker position for the Spartans. Stroud. It's a wide open Smith and Jigma. Can't shake the tackle of Lowry, but another it's just the, chunk play. The spacing of these routes. I mean, CJ Stroud's amazing. He's a great player. What a future he has. But what a job that Ryan Day and the offensive staff put him in the position they put he in this offense in to have answers for any coverage that they see. Marvin Harrison, the talented true freshman, checks in the game at wide receiver. He's been running routes, doing it well. Since he was a toddler, schooled well by his dad. So they get Ohio State to third down for just the second time today. And the Spartans jump offside. Offside, defense number 99 with contact. Five yard penalty, the yardage results in the first down. That time pressured and delivers a beautiful throw. Olave makes the catch at the one. Are you kidding me? It's one of his best catches he's had as a Buckeye right now. High there. formation, Mayan Williams scores easily. And Ohio State stretches the lead. And again, for the third time today, Thorne's pass is batted down at the line of scrimmage. That was Tyleek Williams, true freshman, getting a turn in there. He's out of Virginia. And get the edges. Walker makes a cut and is knocked down hard by Shaw. There's a flag near where he made the cut at the 21 yard line. It's a hold. Holding. Offense number 75. 10 yard penalty for the previous spot. Repeat second down. Born flushed, chased, and just has to throw it away. That was quick pressure by Tyreek Smith. In third and 20, Buckeyes rush just three, and the screen is rejected. That was Smith again. Smith and Jigba, it's a very low kick. Fields it and has a chance here. And tackled at the 43 yard line, so Buckeyes will get good field position. We haven't really seen Travion Henderson yet until now. A lot of space before contact and finally knocked down at the 40. Stroud. Looking downfield on first down, lofts it, and just the second incompletion. Both Olave and Wilson were in the same area. It looked like a mix up. That's completely unacceptable. We're going to have to get to the bottom of that. I don't know what the heck's going on out there. <laughs> All three top receivers lined up on the left side. Henderson running left and falls forward for a short game. Buckeyes right back at it here. Smith and Jigba makes a cut. Great action slant Olave again 
tackled at the 11 yard line. That was just his second incompletion of the afternoon. CJ getting that sorted out. Over 300 yards passing in the first half. Really at a quarter and a half. Looking for more. End zone. Easy pitch and catch. It's scary. Reed and the kick return. Thorn complete far side. Flying into the backfield to knock Walker down for losses. Lathan Ransom. Drives a nice punt. He's had a pretty good job in Smith and Jigbit driven all the way back to the 12 yard line. Press to go around the corner. That didn't work. Cuts it back. Weaves oh. his way and is dropping a shoestring tackle. All right, thanks, guys. Trown flips the ball underneath. And that's Jeremy Rucker at the tight end getting involved. He's a pretty good weapon, too. Overshadowed in this offense. Put the ball out to the 43. First down throw. And you check it down underneath. And Williams is knocked down. You know, he's not letting up in any way. He is not. This is Wilson. 450 plus yards of offense. And Stroud that time didn't get rid of it quickly. Maverick Hansen on the sack, just the 12th the Buckeyes have given up this year. Yeah, just, just a little bit of movement on the inside, little twists. Caused a little bit of confusion. The center Whippler there. He stayed on his man, unable to come off. And a good job by Michigan State being able to, to get home, get Ohio State behind the sticks now. See if it makes a difference. Second and 18. You can see some of the backup Spartan defensive linemen, and they're still fighting down by six touchdowns. Williams. Breaks into the clear spin move and is knocked down at the 36. It's another first down for the backup tailback in this offense. Stroud on first down. It is the 29th pass attempt, the 27th completion of this first half. Olave's got it at the 21. Play action again. Dumped down to Mitch Rossi. Involved the tight end for the first time. Ronald Williams with a physical tackle. That big hit by Ronald Williams dislodged the ball. And, and around Wilson runs into heavy traffic and they tackle him at the 11 yard line. First down. Master Teague has been a frustrating season, hasn't played a lot of football, missed about four games. Trying to get him. you can hear the crowds senior day recognizing the veteran. Yeah. Good to see the big game. fella get his opportunity. You know he has had some injuries. He's also seen a true freshman go right by him. Stroud rolling stretches the play and flips it back to the end zone. Jackson Smith in Jigba touchdown number six for Stroud. Against the zone, and you pick up about nine and a half yards there. Tries to find Hunt. Well defended over the middle. Complete to the middle off the hands of Tory Foster. Here comes a blitz. 
It's picked up. Thorne scrambles and delivers incomplete. Try to make a play on the sideline there. Haskell Garrett with the pressure. Fair catch made at the 18 yard line. And that loss moving back to what about an even 500 yards of total offense in the first half. Stroud 29 of 31 393 and six touchdowns two each for Olave and Wilson. So the Jigba has one Julian Fleming has one overwhelming by Ohio State in the first 30 minutes. Foster on the kick return is smacked hard. That gets a big ooh from the crowd at the 24 yard line. Mel told me before the game, I told my guys, don't worry about the scoreboard. It was a completion of Mosley. Mosley breaking free in the secondary. They don't pan him in. And that's their first big electric play today. Moves the ball to the 30 yard line. Dylan Naylor not available today, and that does certainly hurt their big playability. And there's a sack. Haskell Garrett storms in and knocks Thorne down. Walker just never really gotten going. Tommy Eichenberg, third and 17. Screen and slam down behind the line is Connor Hayward. Ringer kicks the point, knocks it high into some empty space, and the ball will be down at the 12 yard line. And there's a play by the Spartan front. You look at this defense, and we said they've struggled for years stopping the pass, and we told you they were dead last in the country coming in, but I don't know, Kirk. I mean, yes, this is a tremendously talented pass offense, but you search the memory banks. It's one of the worst pass defenses we've seen in a long time. From, yeah. from a quality program. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty mind blowing. Yeah, and, and I think talent wise, you know, I think Xavier Henderson's a really good player. And some of these other guys, they've had some injuries to the corner spot. They're just a, a, a team that I think is only going to get more and more talented, but they've had to make the most of what they have. Smith and Jigbin in space. Scotty Hazelton, the defensive coordinator. You're still adjusting to a new scheme. Some of these Spartan veterans back there. It's a scheme you see on, on Sundays, frankly. Now Stroud is in. You see a lot of the backup receivers. Tailback is Master Teague, the veteran. Third string guy wrapping up his Buckeye home career and making plays. Doesn't matter who's out there in the scarlet and gray. They're moving fast down the field. Get the ball out fast on the edge, and they do. And Williams breaks a couple tackles and is ushered out near the 41. Teague cuts it back. Smith and Jigba, stiff arm. You know, they, they eased Travion Henderson into the season, saving him for the stretch run. Now, with the score out of hand, you can rest him up for the game against, as they call him here, the team up north. Pretty good day for Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> Pretty good two and a half quarters, yeah. Stroud underneath. It was a low throw intended for Fleming. Hmm. I would think at some point McCord's going to have to come in the game. I'd be shocked if Stroud finished the entire game. But Holly's right. You know these, these numbers games become a tough thing to have to navigate. But I'm hey, sure you, you hate to burn a redshirt, but on the other hand, you got to protect your starting quarterback oh, yeah. for for bigger things ahead. So when you have double the number of touchdowns that you have for incompletions, it's a good afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Only the third third down play of the afternoon and Stroud is going to be knocked down. Drew Beasley sixth year senior who came back 
from an injury this year because of his love for Spartan football makes the sack. So as much as they they like to have spacing this time you have three receivers that are kind of in the same area and made it easier to defend for Michigan State and because of that he just had nowhere to go with the ball and that's why Michigan State's able to get the pressure to him and a red zone stop for his field goal attempt for Noel Ruggles who has his perfect record on the line right here from 38 and boom slides it wide right. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage for the playbook on home loans. Rocket can. But today it's been a different story. You know, this. This defensive line has just dominated the line of scrimmage. And then they got in a hole and just haven't had a chance to try to get him going because they've had to throw. Ugly punt, but a nice roll. They want to see the 49. Kyle McCord get a chance to do it and see what he can do. The freshman out of Philly. 21 of 30 in the four games that he's played so far. Teague, and the veteran, takes the hand up. So CJ Stroud, an almost flawless performance. After today's results, you know, in, in a year where the Heisman Trophy is up for anybody, he just sent a very loud message to, to the voters and, as you said, sets the table for next year, next week in Ann Arbor. Nice ride there. Oh, ooh, big hit delivered on Kyle McCord by Darius Snow. Walker's Heisman conversation will end today. Despite a terrific season, it would still be the favorite to win the Doak Walker Award to the top running back. I, I, know I totally get your point. This has been a spectacular performance by Stroud. Yeah. I, I just don't know if if that's What's going to put him over the top is obviously got another monster game next week. Big Ten championship yeah. game if they I mean, win well, that. That's week. what I'm saying. I think he has set himself up now to go to Ann Arbor and again on a big stage. And then if they play well there, he's you know you got one more weekend and, and the uh, the championship if, if they're able to win in Ann Arbor. I just think it'd be Bryce Young. We came in. It was Bryce Young from Alabama, uh, Kenneth Walker, Michigan State, and, and C.J. Stroud. Definitely didn't hurt himself today. And McCord throws a pick. Threw it right into the hands of Justin White. And the Spartans have their first takeaway, and that's not what the Buckeyes' backup was looking for. No, no, he, he ends up short arming this and just not throwing it out away from the defender. Made it pretty easy. White saw it coming the entire time. Thorn on the move. Slides down before he takes a high hit from Eichenberg there. Picks up about five. Pretty nightmarish, in fact, for every Spartan. For about the fifth time as passes batted down. You wonder at any level of football if anybody in that Michigan State sideline has experienced anything quite like they did in the first half. Third and five, they throw it short, and Elijah Collins tries to scoot for the marker. It'll be spotted out short. It'll be fourth down. That's why you see all those NFL quarterbacks with those different arm angles just trying to work around some of these big guys that can get pressure on them. Now these quarterback coaches, they work as much on that as they do the traditional stuff. On fourth and two. And the Spartans are going to convert. That's Collins again with a touch. Buckeyes brought their, their two middle linebackers. A really nice job of communicating and handling that pressure. Watch the Michigan State offensive line. Right side of that line. Buter does a good job. Matt Allen in the center. Catch made underneath by Hayward. Big man spinning away and showing some agility. Spartans the first down in the red zone trying to get on the board here. And 
avoid the embarrassment of a shutout. Double clutch and delivered late over the middle, and that allowed Marcus Williamson to come back and great break play. it up. Great, great play. Final minute of the third quarter, and the ball to Keon Coleman. Freshman's made a couple catches today. It'll be third down. Looking like two wins away from getting back to that four-team bracket. As the Spartans try to avoid a shutout here. Last happened in 1979. Third down. And a throw to the end zone. And a touchdown catch made by Keon Coleman. And Michigan State does dodge that shutout. They went to the slot fade against man to man. There was kind of a cat and mouse game going on before the snap. Peyton Thorne looking at the sideline. They finally see what they want. The matchup against Ryan Watts, a backup corner, one on one, never really turned his eyes or his head back to find the football. Watch his head. Never, by the time he turns, the ball's by him. And a good ball thrown and really good concentration by a guy that they think has a bright future, Keon Coleman. Kicking the PAT is the backup kicker, the lefty freshman Stephen Rusnak. So Kyle McCord, the backup off that ugly pick the last time, will want to improve. He'll want to show what he can do here in the last quarter. And that ball batted down at the line of scrimmage, and they're going to rule it incomplete. Getting a hand on it was Drew Jordan. Well, you, Ohio State's not alone, but you see here the importance of C.J. Stroud staying healthy. Master Teague on the carry. Sidelines. Some wig loose deep in the depth chart. Everybody getting a chance to get a touch here. Jesse Mirko, the Aussie on the run, knocks it down inside the 20 yard line. Collins breaks into the secondary, and this is not. What the Ohio State sideline really wants to see such a dominant first half and you know throttling back a bit on this defensive side. Now, this is what you want to see if you're Michigan State. They just, just continue to fight and battle. Colin Collins gets behind uh, Blake B Blue of uh, Buter that time. Been a nice block in the inside of that offensive line and a little stunt. Nice job of kicking it out. Thorn motors away from pressure to be dropped down. Behind the line, a short set. There's Jack Sawyer on the other side. He came out also as a true freshman. Could have gone anywhere, 33. He could have played anywhere in the country. And Third and long pass. Incomplete over the head of Foster and his fourth down. There's Larry Johnson, of course. Teaches the position, makes a great connection mm -hmm. with the personalities, the guys, and what a recruiting asset he is if you're a defensive lineman to know you're going to come play for him. Talk about teams that begin. Conference play 0 and 2 as they did, then come back to contend. It's a pretty short list. There'll be big underdogs in India against either Ohio State well, or Michigan, they're, they're, especially against this team. Yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, hey, watching their defense against the Ohio State offense would be a lot of fun. Their problem is they're they're very one-dimensional on the offensive side. They'd have to find whoever they play. They're going to have to be able to find the ability to throw the football without turning it over. That, that's been their problem against their better opponents. And it's been a party from the start here. Ohio State 21 in the first quarter, 28 points in the second quarter. Nonsense. 
Third and five play off the timeout. McCord delivers a strike and a first down catch just across the 35. Wigless says it again. I just love to see these anytime starters are up big instead of hanging out on the sideline. They're right there with the coach listening to the play call and watching the, their backup go out and try to play. Like what Dave told us yesterday about the motivation. He says you have to make it, this is his words, a consistent, gentle push every day. As opposed to kind of dropping the hammer. He said, you, you can't throw a 100 mile power fastball every day. It's too long a season for too them. Too long. It's impossible to do, you know, as a coach or a player. But I liked how he said that just a nice, easy, steady push. He also said that being a coach today, you can't talk down to the players. You have to be with them. It's more of a we. It's not we're the coaches, you're the players. You're really talking with them, and it's more about what we are going to do together. His leadership as a head coach, I don't know if Gene Smith, the AD, when they hired him, knew about what that, how much he could bring to the table in that area. Well, he's so smart, and he's observant, and he's got great instincts, obviously, for the job. But you're right, he's adjusted to that. Very different from the guy who hired him, Urban Wright. Teague wrestled down as a flag in the play. Personal foul, face mask. Defense number 47. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Really great play calling. It's all package. Right a guy who we talked about his attributes in leadership relating to players, but you're also making a difference on Saturdays. I mean, Day is one of the head coaches by calling plays who is worth points on Saturday. Kyle McCord trying to engineer a touchdown drive, throws on the run, and going up is Fleming to make the catch. Good to have. Julian Fleming back and healthy hasn't been able to contribute much. So they're going to rule that incomplete now. Julian checking out the play on the big screen. Stick with the incomplete ruling. Play clock at one. They just get it off. Lean Teague barrels into the secondary, takes a big hit, and knocked down near the marker at the 18. One of the starting offensive linemen, the left tackle, Nicholas Petit Frere, a semifinalist for the Allen Trophy, really an impressive junior guy, graduated with a business degree in three and a half years. Nice visit with him yesterday. Well, guys, first down at the 15 yard line now trying to get organized and there was some confusion trying to get lined up so Ryan Day a little angry waves his hand and calls a timeout. To the one yard line. I mean, nice that they got touchdown for the senior on senior day. Boy, that, that offensive line, really good execution. Matthew Jones moves in there at center, getting a good push. Paris Johnson as well. They want 33 to get the rock from a yard out. Oh. and goal. McCord looking to throw in the back of the end zone, and he airmailed it. Try to get it to Marvin Harrison to get him a touchdown. The crowd wants to get Ryan, Ryan hears that. He hears it, but does he, what, is he going to give them their wish? <laughs> I'm guessing he does. He's got three touchdowns this year, but this would be a nice way to cap his home career after a frustrating season. They're still chanting Teague.
Oh, there we go. Standing up, the touchdown for the senior. That's a nice reaction. Folks in the end zone are like jumping up and down. Anthony Russo in at quarterback now for the Spartans gets the ball to Simmons in the flat. So Michigan State's going to have to regroup. They got the coveted land grant trophy at stake next week at home against Penn State. And Gwen has a solid favorite in that game. And so much at stake for both teams. The division, a chance at a conference championship, and a playoff bid on the line for both Ohio State and Michigan in that game. Long punt will roll dead about the two yard line. They've punted the ball extremely well today. Oh. That's why the crowd. Yours reacted. in there? Yeah. Very, very hyped freshman recruit. Texas. Part of that very crowded quarterback room you talked about, and he arrived with a whole lot of hype very early. Yeah, that's a, that's the first, first snap, snap of his career. Of his career. Yeah. I mean, it, this was he's, he's technically he would be a senior in high school this year, yep. but with the name, image, and licensing issues in the state of Texas for high school football players, they wouldn't allow him to do it. So he leaves high school football, graduates, enrolls early. So he's again think about him as a high school senior, and he's dressed in a scarlet gray Ohio State uniform, but. The guy, the recruit, number one prospect in the country. Which makes it for a very interesting 2022 because CJ Stroud's not going anywhere. Right. And is is Ewers going to be patient behind CJ Stroud? Early knockout here. Stroud brilliant in the first half, finishes with 432. Equals the school record with six touchdowns. Mel Tucker's team overmatched from the start. A lot to work on in East Lansing in terms of pass defense. Wilson, Smith, and Jigma, Olave, all over 100 yards, combining for five touchdown receptions today. How do you leave the Buckeyes in the hands of this young quarterback? He's so terrific. Uh, he's one of the a great dude, uh, one of the best guys I play with. Uh, huge talent, and I can't wait to watch him in the future. You had a wonderful catch near the end zone. How would you rate that? Was it the best ever that you're leaving here with on senior day? Uh, it was a great ball. Uh, he stayed in the pocket, took a big hit. Uh, he put the ball where I could catch it, and I, I made a play at the end of the day. Well, you can see our, our capability, and, and when we're playing um, you know, really good football and clean football, that we certainly have um, a high ceiling. And um, you know, we're still striving towards, towards greatness, and it's bringing it every week and, and playing really well every week. Um, certainly have a, a you know a tough opponent coming up this week, and certainly all of our focus is quickly going to that game. But I know we're fresh out of this game. Um, proud of the way our guys played. Thought we played strong up front. Protection was good. I thought receivers you know were really crisp in their route running, made more plays. Uh, Travion ran well, and I, and I thought CJ was strong. Yeah, I mean Chris, being the veteran, uh, the other guy in the room, he kind of brings a sense of leadership. But also, I mean he's he's a great player. He has a tremendous speed. His his routes are amazing. He always really beats his man. So. Uh, he's great with yards after uh, with yards after the catch. Uh, Garrett, I mean, he's of course he's just a freak athlete. He can do anything that he wants to, uh, and then he he really doesn't get credit for it. He's a great blocker as well. When it, when other guys get like little bubbles and things of that sort, and uh, I mean he's just a, he's a great player to play with. And then Jackson, he's probably the best route runner I've ever played with in my life. He's just uh, really crisp, really clean. Uh, his body language and, and the things that he does with his body is crazy. Like he he jukes people out of their socks on the regular, which is really cool to see. Well, we we at, at the bye week we talked about a six week season, um, and we knew that the week in and week out this was going to be hard. And I got a lot of respect for the teams we played so far this year. You know when when you look at the way Penn State played us and the way Nebraska played us and, and uh, you know Purdue, you know Michigan State. These are all really good conference teams, and so we knew we had to bring it. You know every week. 
And when you look at college football this year, certainly we, we understood it even more. There was evidence. And, and now here's another, here's another one right here. And obviously, everything gets ramped up this week because of what it is and, and what's on the line uh, all the time, but, but even more this year. You know, certainly the opportunity to go to Indy and, and everything's on the, on the line. So, um, you know, we knew it was going to be like this. You have to bring it every week. And uh, it's, it's, you know, uh, the battle of, uh, of the fittest. I mean, you've you got to be strong. You've got to bring it every week. And um, you, know, you can't ride the roller coaster. You know, it's just we're really excited. And this is what this game is always about. There's always big stakes, the rivalry. And they're a good team every year. And they bring it. And um, we're excited to play them. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, saying what, uh, what Haskell said. Yeah, like, you know, we've just been preparing for that team, you know, all winter, all, you know, summer. You know, we just got that uh, game always on our minds, you know, in the back of our heads. So, you know, now it's here. You know, we just got to do what we've been doing, practice hard, uh, go into that game with a good mindset, you know, playing strong.